job, isn't it? Yeah. What a relief. Yes, it is needed.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God. Even unto the God of my joy. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I confess to God Almighty, the blessed Mary ever virgin, the blessed Michael the Archangel, the blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints and you, brethren, that I have sent exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my own fault, by my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I thank Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter and Paul, all the saints, and you brethren, to pray for me, the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our everlasting life. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Will thou not turn again and quicken us, O God? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. Grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let me cry unto thee. O Lord, be with you. With thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. He hath dispersed abroad and given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Blessed is, the, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. He hath great delight in his commandments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He hath dispersed abroad and given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon Christ us. Christ have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord. Glory be to God on high, and on earth and peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou who takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, who out of all thy saints is choose blessed Joaquin to be father of the mother of thy son. Grant we beseech thee that we who celebrate his festival may feel the perpetual succor of his intercession. To the same Jesus Christ, thy son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God world without end. Amen. The lesson from the Book of Wisdom. <clears throat> Blessed is the man that is found without blemish, and hath not gone after gold. Who is he? And we will call him blessed. For wonderful things hath he had done among his people. Who hath been tried thereby, and found perfect, and let him glory? Who might offend, and hath not offended, or done evil, and hath not done it? His good shall be established in the Lord, and the congregation shall declare his alms. Lord, whoops, here endeth the lesson. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
He hath dispersed abroad and given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the faithful shall be blessed. Alleluia, alleluia. Joaquin, spouse of St. Anne, of the gracious virgin, the Father, here to thy servants bring safety and aid from on high. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Glory Lord be to you, Lord. Lord. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas and his brethren, and Judas begat Barys and Zerah of Thamar. Barys begat Ezra, and Ezra begat Aram, and Aram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Naasim, and Naasim begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Booz of Rashab, and Booz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon, of her that had been the wife of Urias. And Solomon begat Rehoboam, for Rehoboam begat Abia, and Abia begat Asa, and Asa begat Josephat, Josephat begat Joram, and Joram begat Ozias, and Ozias begat Joatham, and Joatham begat Achaz, and Achaz begat Ezekias, and Ezekias begat Manassas, and Manassas begat Amon, and Amon begat Josias, and Josias begat Begonius and his brethren, about the time they were gathered, carried away to Babylon. And now that they were brought to Babylon, Begonius begat Salathiel, and Salathiel begat Zorobabel, and Zorobabel begat Abihu, and Abihu begat Eliakim, and Eliakim begat Azor, and Azor begat Sadak, and Sadak begat Akim, and Akim begat Eliu, and Eliu begat Eleazar, and Eleazar begat Mathan, and Mathan begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, who was born Jesus. Who is called Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Thou hast crowned him with glory and worship, and hast made him to have dominion of the works of thy hands, O Lord. Brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hands to the praise and glory of the Son of God, and that of all his church. Amen. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, O God, the sacrifice of the offering of thy majesty, the honor of the Holy Patriarch, Martin, Father of the Virgin Mary, and grant that as we with his eat with his wife and their most blessed offspring intercede for us. So we may be counted worthy to receive the correct commission of our sins and may attain unto everlasting glory of Christ our Lord. Amen. The 
the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right. It is very meet and right in our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Almighty and ever-living God, the while thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we have to beseech thee most mercifully to receive these our oblations, which you offer in thy divine majesty. Beseech me to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We pray so, Holy Father, to Shane, our primate, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. <clears throat> we beseech thee also to save and defend this our country, to grant to the President of the United States, to the Governor of this state, and to all others in civil authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. And we beseech thee so to direct and dispose our hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice, to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, that with me guard and do reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving me in holiness and righteousness all the days of thy life. We most humbly beseech thee thy goodness, O Lord, to govern and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we demand unto thy merciful goodness this congregation which is here assembled in thy name to celebrate the commemoration of the most glorious death and resurrection of thy holy Son. And here we do give unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints from the beginning of the world, and chiefly in the glorious and most blessed ever Virgin Mary, Father of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, and in the holy patriarchs, prophets, Apostles and martyrs, whose examples, O oh Lord, the steadfastness in thy faith and keeping thy holy commandments, grant us to follow. We command unto thy mercy, O oh Lord, all other thy servants who are departed hence from us, with a sign of faith, now to rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O oh Lord, and to all rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant a place of refreshment, of light, and of peace. Father, save you grant unto us some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, and with all thy saints, who in this company would be thee to admit us. Therefore, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy is given thine only Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, satisfaction, for the sins of the whole world, and to institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory that is precious death of sacrifice until his coming again. We beseech you to hear us, O merciful Father, and with thy holy spirit and word, God save to bless and sanctify these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. When the same night he was betrayed to bread, and when he had blessed and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <clears throat> Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many 
for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. <clears throat> Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy duly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants who celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts which you now offer unto thee, the memorial thy son hath commanded us to make, having remembrance of blessed passion, and precious death, the mighty resurrection, and glorious ascension, rendering us with the most hearty thanks for the innumerable, innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. Entirely desiring thy fatherly goodness, mercifully you accept this, our sacrifice, praise, and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching you to grant, by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee. That whosoever shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and make one body with thy Son, Jesus Christ. He may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins, to offer in thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, Command these our oblations by the ministry of thy holy angels to be brought up into thy holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty. Not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom, and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, for whom without him. Let us pray, as our Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us, we seek thee, O Lord, from all evils, past, present, and to come, and in the intercession of the blessed, glorious, and ever virgin Mary, Mother of God, that of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, of Andrew and Joaquin, and Aidan, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time. By the help of thy mercy, we may ever be kept free from sin, and safe from all this quiet too. Through the same Jesus Christ. Thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit live in the reign of God, world without end. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Thank you, consecration of life, my Lord Jesus Christ, and those who are drinking the life of life is your own life. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this high table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much to gather up the crumbs under thy table. Thou art the same Lord, whose property is always for mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with his most precious blood, and that we may ever more draw near he and us. Amen. I receive the bread of heaven and call on the name of the Lord. You are in that worthy and
God be only for taking away the sins of the world. Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the doubt of us, to feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food, the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And thus assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people. You are also heirs to hope of everlasting kingdom, by the merit of his most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech thee, O Lord, thy Father, so to assist us in thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good work as we thou hast prepared for us to walk. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom thee and the Holy Ghost be our honor and glory, for over thy end. Amen. A faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made.